Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I am going to show you how to get the new Minecraft snapshot and pre release versions on your client and on your Server Pro server. So, to get the snapshots and pre releases on your client, open the launcher and log in like usual. You should then see something similar to this. Go over to the installation tab just up here and near the upper right you should see a few checkboxes. Ensure that you select the snapshot checkbox so that you have access to them. A new installation appears as soon as you select it and from here you can play the latest snapshot or pre-release. However, if you'd like to play on a different version, you'd need to create a new installation. To do this, click the new button here to add a new installation of the game. Now fill in the name, this can be anything you want. I'm just going to write custom snapshot. Then from the version drop down menu, select which version you like. If you'd like to pick a new game directory, you can. This will make it so that you won't have access to your normal Minecraft worlds, meaning that there's less chance of corrupting them. But I'm going to leave this as default. Finally, select the new icon at the top here if you want and then press create. Back in the play tab, at the bottom here, you will now notice a selection box to select which installation you'd like to launch. Select whichever one you like and press play. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the latest snapshot on your Server Pro server. Here I'm using my free Server Pro server and right now my server version is on vanilla 1.16.1. If you want to know how to get yourself a free server to play with your friends, click the i in the top right corner of the screen. Now to change the version, head over to the reinstall tab in your control panel and under the server type dropdown, select vanilla snapshot. Then under the version dropdown, select whichever snapshot version you'd like to install. When it comes to removing your files or not, we actually recommend that you do. This is because it avoids any file conflicts or corruptions. Of course, if you'd like to keep your server files, you can just by selecting a no, or you can simply download any of your previous files before reinstalling. This can be done just by heading over to the files tab, highlighting any of the files or worlds you'd like to download and press the download button near the upper right. Going back to the reinstall tab, I'm going to reinstall my server and remove the previous files. When the reinstallation process finishes, I'm going to copy my hostname, go back into game and enter my server. And there we go, it's as easy as that. Last thing to note is that you should never reinstall your server to the previous snapshot version of the game, as your world will get corrupted and you will be unable to recover it. As always, snapshot versions are less stable than the full releases and will potentially have bugs and crashes. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.